Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Tomo Tanaka. Uh, welcome to our Center for Gene Regulation and Expression, University of Dundee. We are pleased to discuss our paper today, uh, which was published in uh, 2010 uh, in Developmental Cell. So this is uh, Etsuchi Kitamura, and then this is uh, Shinya Komoto. So they are uh, joint first authors uh, of this paper together with uh, Kozo Tanaka. To uh, explain a uh, key finding in our paper today, Etsushi and Shinya uh, want to play some game today, uh, which we call a blindfold handshake. So in this game, uh, they have uh, their eyes masks on and then uh, become uh, blind. And uh, they try to uh, shake hands. The hands are with uh, gloves. Because uh, they are blind, it is a bit tricky to find their hands. So how quickly can they manage to shake hands? So in this game, they try two kinds of conditions. In the first condition, Shinya does not move his hand and then holds it somewhere. On the other hand, Etsushi moves his hand until his hand finds Shinya's. So the game starts now. It usually takes a while uh, until Etsushi finds uh, Shinya's hand to uh, shake their hands. So uh, in the second uh, condition, both uh, persons uh, move their hands to find each other's hand. So the game starts now. In this condition, they often find each other's hand more quickly uh, compared with the first condition. So how is this game uh, relevant to our finding uh, in this paper? We are studying how kinetochores initially interact with microtubules, extending from a spindle pole. We found that microtubules are generated not only at spindle poles, but also at kinetochores in budding yeast. To study this, we used an engineered centromere reactivation assay. In the left hand cell, we have a mitotic spindle here as shown by the yellow arrow. You can see a tibulin signal is slightly extended from SEN3. In the right hand cell, two microtubules are more clearly extended from SEN3. These microtubules are not connected to the spindle and they are generated at the kinetochore. Such kinetochore derived microtubules are also found in a physiological condition. In this example, we have a spindle pole as shown by the white arrow. The kinetochore within a yellow circle is not yet caught on microtubules from the spindle pole. And you can see a microtubule is extended from the kinetochore. Our findings are summarized here. As shown, by the red line, microtubules extend from the kinetochore with the distal plus end. As shown by a green dot on the orange dot, STU2, an ortholog of XMAP215 and then CHTOC localizes at the kinetochore. STU2 plays a central role in microtubule generation at the kinetochore. A kinetochore-derived microtubule often uh, interacts with a microtubule from a spindle pole along their lengths. Our data suggests that this uh, interaction facilitates kinetochore loading onto the, the spindle pole microtubule. We argue that this is similar to the blindfold handshake played by Etsushi and then Shinya. By extending microtubules from both a spindle pole and a kinetochore, they can find each other more quickly 
like the blindfold handshake. We also found that Kinetcore derived microtubules disappear quickly once the Kinetcore is loaded onto a spindle pole microtubule. Thus, a Kinetcore derived microtubule has a short lifetime and does not become a part of the metaphase spindle. Okay, let's go! <laughs> The game starts now. Is it? See ya. Is it? <laughs> game starts now. Yeah. <laughs> 